On Monday, May 18, 2020, the Maine Department of Health and Human Services, Maine Health Alert Network, issued a press release stating that the, quote, Maine CDC has expanded its capacity for COVID-19 testing. This expansion results largely from a partnership with IDEX in Westbrook, Maine, to use the OptiSARS CoV-2 RNA PCR test kit. The test kit is manufactured by OptiMedical and features an instruction manual that indicates the test goes out to a cycle threshold of 45. OptiMedical received U.S. FDA emergency use authorization to produce the test. What this means is the accuracy of the test hasn't been cleared or approved by the FDA. According to OptiMedical's website, quote, the FDA has not determined that the test is safe or effective for the detection of SARS-CoV-2. A CDC document entitled CDC 2019 Novel Coronavirus Real-Time RT-PCR Diagnostic Panel, effective July 13, 2020, states that if a, quote, laboratory modifies this test by using unauthorized alternate components, the modified test is not authorized under the EUA. The CDC document further states for the above modifications, quote, As part of this policy, FDA does not intend to object when a laboratory modifies an EUA-authorized test, which could include using unauthorized components without obtaining an EUA or EUA amendment. PCR tests do not look for the whole virus. Instead, they use chemicals to amplify levels of its RNA so it might be detected. This amplification, called a cycle, is a manufacturing process that successively doubles the amount of viral RNA with every new cycle. The test keeps cycling and amplifying the fragments until a point where they can be detected by the test instruments. The more virus in a sample, the less the test will need to cycle to show a positive result. The normal cycle threshold for someone who is actually sick with a viral load would be as low as 15 or 20. A sample from someone who has had the virus but is recovering may have to be cycled out to 30 or 35 times in order to detect the viral fragments. Positive results derived from cycle thresholds of 40 or above are considered non-infectious, featuring mere leftover viral fragments, and while the PCR test may indicate positive at this cycle threshold, the person will not have enough active, viable virus to get sick or be infectious. Most virologists agree that any test that has to cycle over 35 times should be considered negative for the purposes of classifying someone as sick or infectious. Maine is using a PCR test kit that cycles out to an excessively high cycle threshold of 45, which means many of the so-called positive COVID-19 cases in the state could be classified as negative. A rapid communication from Eurosurveillance.org dated August 3, 2020, stated that, quote, RT-PCR do not distinguish between infectious and non-infectious virus. They further provided a chart that shows the likelihood of sickness or infectiousness of a COVID-19 patient based upon the cycle threshold required to get a positive PCR test result. On August 29, 2020, the New York Times published an article entitled, Your Coronavirus Test is Positive. Maybe it shouldn't be. In that article, they looked at the states of Massachusetts, New York, and Nevada, and found up to 90% of the positive PCR tests in those states cycled out to 40. This means those people carried barely any virus at all and should have been classified as a negative test result. According to a New York Times interview with Dr. Michael Mina, an epidemiologist at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, tests with thresholds so high may detect not just live virus, but also genetic fragments, leftovers from infection that pose no particular risk, akin to finding a hair in a room long after a person has left, 
an editorial commentary published in the journal Clinical Infectious Diseases by Michael Tom and Michael Mina stated, Following complete resolution of symptoms, people can have prolonged positive SARS-CoV-2 RT-PCR test results potentially for weeks. At these late time points, the cycle threshold value is often very high representing very low copies of viral RNA. A positive RTQ-PCR result may not necessarily mean the person is still infectious or that he or she has any meaningful disease. Maine's PCR tests cycle out to 45 cycles. At this cycle threshold, a PCR test should in all actuality be considered negative. Nick Murray, writing in The Main Wire, attempted in September to obtain actual cycle thresholds for positive PCR tests in Maine from the Maine CDC. He even submitted a Freedom of Information Act request, but is being stonewalled with one pathetic excuse after another. If data from Maine mirrors that from Massachusetts and New York, it would be a bombshell finding, wrote Murray. It could render much of the contact tracing and case-chasing regime that Governor Mills, Dr. Shaw, and public health officials employ to maintain control over Maine people useless, because the cases being tracked are carrying very low amounts of the virus and would be less likely to spread it throughout day-to-day -day life. Of the more than 3,700 new positive cases of COVID-19 in Maine for November, there were only an additional 80 people hospitalized for it. For more stories like these, visit WFFJTV.com. For WFFJTV, I'm Dave Deshan.